Hi guys, how are you? This is Joyce and I am back with another video. Want to make one more video before the holidays begin. Um, it is Tuesday. It's actually Tuesday about 7 p.m. here where I live and um, it's about an hour before my class starts, my numerology class starts. So I said, oh, I'll take a minute to do a video because I'm kind of curious about something. And I don't know if you're curious about it as well, but I want to know where is Bill Barr? Bill Barr, who spent the last four years almost being Donald Trump's flunky uh, servant, this highly educated man, this attorney, this veteran, um, I believe he's an educator as well. He spent all this time uh, being Trump's personal attorney. And that was not supposed to be the case. He's supposed to be the attorney for the people, us, United States. But he spent so much time doing dirt that now... He's disappeared. The last time I saw Barr was just on in, on the news and he was walking, you know, hurriedly to wherever he was going and saying he was, they asked him what he was going to do and he said he was going to go have him a steak, which he probably shouldn't do health-wise. But anyways, I mean, not the steak is bad for your health, but if you're not healthy to begin with, that's probably not the best decision. Anyways... I want to know, where is Bill Barr? He has suddenly gone missing, um, gone undercover, gone deep state. <laughs> Wherever he is, he is not out for public consumption. So I want to know, where is Bill Barr? And I keep asking the cards probably too many times, is he going to have to deal with prosecution as time goes forward? So I want to know, where is Bill Barr? I know a lot of people are reading about Trump's, uh, what's going to happen with Trump during the inauguration or what's going to happen with Biden. But I more so want to know, where is Bill Barr? And also, people seem to feel like, oh, give him a break and, you know, maybe we shouldn't prosecute. But if it was you doing crimes, they'd sure prosecute you. For sure. So, yeah. So let me take a look and see. I hope everyone is having a terrific night. I'm not going to drop this probably until after class. So that'll probably be about 9 o'clock at night. Tomorrow I start with some of my cooking. Stores are busy though if you went out to them. All right, let's see. Where is Bill Barr? What's going on with him? Oh, okay. So we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in reverse, though. Eight of Cups is about walking away when things are good. Because he's got, this individual has a passion, right? And he's made a decision. You've got an eclipse here, and it's kind of dark. He's made a, a, a decision within himself, a secret um, decision, something he's been uh, thinking about for like a higher purpose, okay? It also can mean that you uh, are being forced to leave something. You know, maybe you got fired or what have you, but in this case, it's in reverse. So that's telling me that um, yes, he's going to have to leave, but uh, he doesn't want to leave simply because of what could happen to him afterwards, okay? What could happen after these elections what am i going to have to face uh wanting to hold on the cups are in the are, are empty okay so this tells me that you made a mess okay you made a complete mess you know you did you're wondering how not only can you walk away but how can you get away unscathed so we've got that and then we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be male or female, but this is someone who is about their money. They, they, they want their money. They know how to handle money. They are a kind of down-to-earth person, likes living in abundance, likes flourishing, 
um, really understands the cycles of money. So I would say that is the energy of him. Him, the energy of this pentacles person, pentacles usually means earth, uh, down to earth, even uh, as it's a queen, so it's a water slash earth, meaning that this person is wanting money, but they're also emotional, okay? They're going through something emotional tied into, I've got to go. I hope I don't get in trouble. <laughs> How can you hope that? Here we have the high priestess in reverse. Now the high priestess, she is the uh, ultimate of femininity. She is the person that keeps the secrets, okay? She knows what the future holds. She's in touch with feminine energy like none other it's in reverse for him that everything he does is going to come out every secret he thought he could hold will be spilled this is in reverse meaning that this is an ill-dignified queen this is that gossipy type energy that people are talking about so he definitely his crimes his missteps, whatever you want to call them, will definitely be revealed, okay? It will come out as much as he's done and things that we probably do not know. So I can see now why we don't see him or why he's hiding out. He doesn't want to leave. He doesn't want to leave simply because if he leaves, that means that um, he's going to have to answer for what he's done. His energy is a, a worried female about their money, worried about their money, as well as things he's done is going to be are going to be revealed. Funny, though, he's got the lover's card and the lovers are really the Gemini card. And it's about choices. And he's a Gemini. It's about choices that he's going to have to make. Um, is he going to admit to these things are going to be spilled or is he going to and come clean and take responsibility or is he going to choose to say it wasn't me I didn't do it yada 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 yeah that's the running away no plans no ideas just trying to get away unscathed that's why we don't see him he is on his escape route. Yeah. He knows what's coming for him. And this is the ace, I mean, excuse me, the um, three of swords, heartbreak, tears. Um, now, this can be about relationship. A lot of uh, readers read it as that. But it can also mean any kind of heartbreak or disappointment. And it, it's in reverse. You're not going to get better. This way, you're going to get better. You're going to get over it. This way, for me, is he's going to be stuck in it. He wants to get away from what he's done. He doesn't want to have to acknowledge it. He knows that he's going to have to be separated. He does not want to be separated from the the White House. I think he wants to be separated from Trump, but it, it's too late. It's too little too late. He wants to be able to run away and be separated from the his dealings with Trump, but he won't be able to do that. He just won't. He, once again, has no plan. This Empress is such a great card about um, that you've birthed new ideas. You've got new plans. You've got, uh, you're like a money magnet. You know how to nurture and grow things. In this way, it's, you have no plan. You have no plan. I just want to get away from all this. You're in that ill-dignified three that says that you are going to cry victim uh, and watch and see. He's going to tell us that he had to do what he had to do, that he was forced to do this, just like that uh, Emily Murphy and others, that uh, I was forced to do what I had to do. I had no choice. But he did have choices, right? We already saw that with the lovers. He had a choice at any moment in those four years to say, this is not, that's not my job. I'm not your personal. I'm not Rudy Giuliani. I'm not anybody else. I'm me. I work for the United States of America, not for you, but he chose wrong. Okay. Um, he wants to be able to uh, brace up brace himself that if he had any wish his wish would be that i'll be able to take the blows of everything that's coming that doesn't say he's going to do that that's saying that's what he's wishing that he could 
be able to take the blows, be able to defend himself. He's hoping he's going to be able to t defend himself and say, I had no choice. I was tied to this mess. I wanted to separate. Not going to. Guess what he gets? Yeah, the judgment card. He gets the judgment card. The judgment card is about him uh, having to go within and him going to have to check himself. And somebody's going to talk to him in the sense that says, you knew better. You knew that wasn't your job. You, you taught law. You were in the military. You were this and this and this. You knew that you weren't supposed to work with Trump. So I definitely see judgment on him. I see this as a huge wake-up call for him, this whole thing. <clears throat> Sometimes when you're in the midst of something, you know, you, you can't see uh, the forest for the trees. And that was him. If it was a money grab or whatever. Yeah, he's not going to get away with it, though. He's going to get news and situations that he does not want, that he's going to have to deal with. We've got the Four of Cups in reverse that says that things are going to be offered to him, um, accusations, legal matters, that he doesn't want to have to deal with that. Truths, the truths that are going to be spilled for him are going to come out for him even though he doesn't want to admit it or acknowledge it. He will never be able to admit that he was wrong. He's going to defend himself as long as he can. And here again, we have the Nine of Cups. This is the wish card. If his wish is to get away with this stuff, that wish is not coming true for him. No, he is going to be caught up in the mess and uh, he's not going to get away. Now, let me just do a quick shelf. I just want to know a quick three card spread on is he going to be held accountable is bar going to be held accountable Ooh, the first card came out there's going to be a lot of drama around him um internally a lot of this is the five of pentacles there's a lot of energy it could be in his thoughts it can be around him a lot of people arguing about if he did the right thing, if he did the wrong thing, his people trying to come up with some kind of idea to get him off the hook, him wrestling inside himself. Um, very Five is a very severe number, which you guys have heard me say that. So it's definitely about a lot of tough lessons that you had to learn. Um, and boy, is he learning those lessons. Will Barr be held accountable by the courts. I want to know by the courts. So I'm going to put that card over there for the energy. The bar be held accountable. Oh, FYI, um, my numerology class ends December 15th, and I think about January 25th or 24th, we're going to start our advanced tarot class. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments if you're going to be interested in the advanced tarot class. We'll get more information out to you. You'll be in the community board, and I'll talk about it more as we get closer. That way we can get into additional spreads, a lot of inside information about reading uh, the tarot for yourself or others that you may not know. Um, looking at the importance of the reversals in your reading. How everything reverses is not necessarily bad. So there'll be a lot more than in the beginner because the beginner is just that, a beginner's class. Oh, he gets the seven of pentacles. He wants to get away. He wants to get away with his dirt. He's He is somewhere packing up, I promise you, because this is someone that's like, um, we know that it can be someone that is dishonest. Someone could be stealing something. This is somebody that is breaking camp. That's what I call it. Like they're packing up and they're getting their stuff and they're trying to get out of the situation as quickly and as quietly as, we can, as he can. That's why you're not seeing him. He is in there packing his stuff and getting up out of there. Well, bar, bar be held accountable in the courts.
and one more. Will Barr be held accountable in the courts? <clears throat> <laughs> so I have for him once again um, he is going to be brought in front of some higher force okay we've got the knight of swords this is I mean the, the king of wands I'm talking about the knight of swords this is the king of wands this is someone that's really good this is uh, not necessarily an attorney but somebody around him that he is going to be reamed out i'm put it like that you guys know what that means he's going to definitely be defending his position once again i had to do what i had to do and this guy is going to give him a wake-up call that says uh-uh you overstepped your boundaries wow so these cards are really saying the same thing that he's going to be offered something that he is not going to like he is not going to, this is about a change. Usually it's a pretty big change. Uh, it's as it's not as big as an ace, but the pages are next for big changes. And this is big changes that say, and I'm thinking a new way, but he's not going to. He's going to stay stuck in his thought that he was doing his job the way he thought it was. Trump was uh, in control of him. Trump made him do that. That's the story he's going to stick to, even though uh, whoever is talking to him, an attorney, this could be an attorney. It could be a judge. Um, this is not really the knight of the king of wands. Is not necessarily a judge, but it could be somebody. This is someone who is a great leader. This is someone that you know that you can come and you can talk to, and they're going to keep your stickers for you. They're going to have passion on whatever they're working on. So he's still going to stick to his story. He's not going to change his mind. He's not going to change his position. Um, he's not going to be able to cut out the BS. He's not going to be able to do that, but somebody else will do that for him. Um, yeah, he's going to stay in hot water. It's usually this way. It's a good card, this one. This is a mental card. It can also be action, but it's about going from bad times into good times. Mental change. He's not, not going anywhere. He's going to stay stuck in the wrong. You know how people do that. They are wrong, and then they argue for their wrong, and that's what he's going to continue to do. So he is going to see legal uh, he is going to have some legal issues um, as far as being disbarred oh that was my question the card always answers your question he will be disbarred he definitely will okay guys you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving I won't be talking to you before then I'll talk to you maybe over this weekend I love you guys Leave your comment in there. Tell me if you'd like to be a part of the advanced uh, tarot class if you're interested. By the way, the advanced tarot class is also helpful for beginners because we're going to cover some of those same beginner aspects as well. And we're just adding on. So let me know. Love you guys. Have a happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe.